Hey everybody, it's uh, Mike Marston again with Unity Intercom, and let's talk about another common question that we get asked all the time, um, and, and I get it, it's a, it's, it's a little confusing, it's very modular, and that's our licensing. I'm just gonna talk about the common ones. There's, there's a couple other licenses that aren't as common. I'll let you read about those on the website or talk to us. I'm just gonna cover the basic ones. So, and in, in, in I've been using this little board here today, and we're talking about Unity Intercom. There's, there's my little picture of a Mac Mini. Unity Intercom runs on a Mac computer. Um, I guess maybe just to sum up, the Unity Intercom server software runs on a Mac computer, and what, what makes up the license portion of a Unity Intercom server um, can be real confusing. And it's essentially this. Everyone has to buy a base license. The base license is essentially purchasing the Unity Intercom server. The base license happens to come with three users, but if you see the base license, everyone has to buy it. It's 599 bucks. The base license is required, and it's only a one-time purchase, and then you own it forever. Um, the second most common item is the, is the I.O. license. That's the ability for Unity Intercom, the server, to interact with, um, with an external I.O. device. A lot, for example, a lot of times you might have like a Motu or uh, a Tascam device hooked to the Mac computer that's receiving a couple of, you know, six, eight, 32, audio feeds and it's and it's sending and receiving from the Mac computer via USB or Thunderbolt. The IO license is required to be able to route those into the PL channels and to send Unity Intercom's audio back out to your existing comm system or a soundboard. And that's where the IO license is you pretty much usually always need it. Uh, the second item or I'm sorry, the third item is the advanced program feed license. So, with just a base user license, you're allowed one incoming audio feed from any source, and that becomes the default um, program audio feed. So, everybody logging in on their phones, when they log in, they'll have one default listen-only program audio feed. And I'll flip back here. So that's the base license gets you one program audio feed or program slash IFB feed. With the advanced licensed, you can have up to 64 selectable program audio feeds. So when I would go, when I'd swipe up or click on the volumes page, down here in my little IFB program feed section, I would have up to 64 selectable um, and you get to choose which users have access to which feeds. Now that's, that's the advanced license right here. So the advanced gives you up to 64 incoming or, or you know, incoming IFB or program feeds. Uh, the fourth item is our expanded channels and groups. Actually, yeah, it's expanded channels and groups option right here. This allows you, so without, without the groups option, when you buy a base user license and maybe you've bought all this, when everybody logs in, they are going to be in one group all together. The expanded channels and groups option lets me select multiple groups. So I could actually be in three or four different groups. And each one of those groups has a unique set of six party line channels. So without the groups, you're just gonna have six party line channels in one group. Once you jump into the expanded channels and groups option, you're gonna have up to 64 different groups and 128 channels. So in the server, you'll actually have 128 channels that you can program. Each one of, the, each one of those, each one, I'm sorry, 128, <laughs> let's, let's do that again. It's actually 64 groups and there's 128 channels for which you build groups out of. So even, even I was getting tripped up there. So you have 128 channels, and out of all those channels, you start to build groups. 
And so you could build group two or page two or, or group one could be Norman, Oklahoma, where I am. Group two could be Boston. Um, and that's all done within the server and it's all made possible when you've got the groups option. So these are the major, major four. Your base license, your IO license, advanced program feeds. Remember that gives us 64 incoming program slash IFB feeds and the groups option, which takes us to that next level of having more than one group and being able to uh, define our people out like that. Now, the last thing, of course, is uh, uh, user licenses. With the base license, you have three user licenses. Obviously, you're going to want more, and we sell them in groups of two, five, and ten. So you could pick up a couple of ten user license packs. So if you bought two ten users, you'd have 23 with the three that come with the base. Um, and, and that is basically all you need to know. This is the, you know, 95% of our systems out there are a base, an IO, the advanced, maybe the groups, depending if you have enough people to make it make sense, and then a bunch of user licenses. And again, these are all one-time purchases, except for your user licenses, of course. All your licenses end up, when they get installed, they are then married to that Mac. So you can then transfer all the licenses on this Mac uh, to another Mac with, with ease. It's a drop down menu item. You select transfer user licenses. All your user licenses get thrown onto the other Mac. So moving your licenses around are very easy. They just, they all stick together. They, they basically, all these licenses get stuck to a base license, which is on a Mac computer. Transferring is very, very easy. But I hope that helps. Um, that's kind of our user licenses. Thanks.